Thanks everybody for turning up. Joel Ben here, business analyst in the services team. Uh, the vocabulary service API, this is what's sitting behind the vocabulary widget. Um, and basically it allows users to sort of interrogate the published vocabularies that we have. Um, again, the ANZ SRC, FOR, the ANZ SRC, SEO, and RIV CS 1.5 vocabularies. Um, the data that can be pulled out of the vocabs themselves can be put back in a variety of formats. Um, so we've got the XML, the JSON, the RDF. Um, so that sort of is available to different developers. Um, again, in the same way that we've used it in the widget, you can use it to populate pick lists and menus um, in data capture tools, in web pages, um, and things like that. Users can use it to search and resolve um, terminologies. So they may just know the term itself and they want to look to see if it's actually a published and recognized terminology in ANZ, SRC, or other vocabularies going forward. Um, and the, the vocabularies that we've published obviously have um, common and globally resolvable identifiers that resolve to a description of, of concepts. So going forward, as we get more and more vocabularies, people will be able to refer to them um, by these resolvable identifiers. So again, just the address, researchdataaustralia.ans.org.au forward slash developers. The web services themselves, um, they're not as pretty because there's no real fancy front end to them. Um, there are little explanation diagrams um, for each, uh, I think nearly all of the, the services that we have, um, just showing sort of how they work. Uh, in much the same way as the widgets, we have tables containing all the parameters that can be passed to the services themselves. Um, and again, the developers will understand that and if they don't, they can get in contact via the community um, forum. There's a couple of, in some of the, the services, they're a little bit trickier. There's sort of some sort of FAQs or common questions about um, the services just to help out. Um, and a couple of example uses of uh, working um, service calls. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got.